And that's exactly what I told her. Hey, do you want some soup? Yeah, if you got some. Yeah, we'll make some. Hey, is it chicken noodle? Yeah. So you keep canned soup in the freezer? Yeah, you're supposed to freeze it. So it doesn't go bad. Nah, nah, I'm, I'm good, man. All right. Hey, you got some coffee, though? Yeah, I'll make some right now. Yo, you keep the coffee machine in the freezer? It's iced coffee. You're supposed to freeze it. Yeah, man, I'm good. I'm just gonna go ahead and bounce, all right? Oh, hey, by the way, do you got... Oh, this is just my little cousin. Yeah, he's icing an injury. What? Here you go, buddy. Hey, by the way, you got the $50 you owe me? Oh, I can't. My bank account's frozen. See? Can you buy me some more ice cream? Yeah, I have cash. Day store. You ain't gonna believe this. What? I almost got a girlfriend. Oh, that's what's so funny. <laughs> How's the sex? See, we ain't quite got there yet. You know, like, almost. Uh, yeah, 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 I get it. I get it, you know, almost, you know what I'm saying? So then y'all went on, what, like, four, five dates? Not quite dates yet, you know. Almost, though, almost. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, I get it, because it, it's, like, long distance, right? Y'all probably, like, FaceTime and it. Not really FaceTiming either. So, what the fuck is you talking about? I be in her DMs heavy, bro. I be in her DMs heavy. Every day I say something. Good morning, how you doing? I love you, I miss you, I love you. <laughs> oh, you gonna love this. This is my favorite part. You gonna love this. She read him. She read him. <laughs> nigga, you ain't almost got no girlfriend. You almost got a grand friend, nigga. I don't hate, man. We gonna be double dating. Me, you, your girl's gonna be amazing. <laughs> I'm in the DMs, baby. Ha, <laughs> they fooling. Mm. My bad. <laughs> My fault. <laughs> wow, she acting unusual. She thought she smelled elegant, but she smelled like an elephant. She had the audacity to pass gas. I think I'm finna pass on this relationship. She stank, stank. She smelled like shit. I'm in a shitty situation. She just had to break wind. Now we got to break up. Being in a relationship was cool. Single man, single man. Yeah, that's me. She just had to let her rip. Now I got to rip this relationship. Then it got in my mouth. It was untasteful. I ain't never seen her behave in this manner. Far from her stand for females are really gas tanks. She got gas gas. Damn, I got to dump her. What a bummer. Hey, you got to go, bro. You gotta go. You gotta go. We have a special guest here today. He's gonna be judging you guys' paintings. His name is Bobby Ross. Bobby Ross? Yeah, Bob Ross's cousin. Bobby Brown Ross. What is this? It's a metaphor for peace and love. It sucks. I've been working on it for two years. It's an abstract. It's an abstract. <laughs> and this? I call this King Darth. This is a timeless piece. King Barth. It's a piece of s***. Okay. It's art! Really? The color. The detail. The use of space. It's magnifique! I'm telling you, baby should have hair by that age. It's a bald baby. It's a bald baby. Right, right. See, now she's handsome. 82 though. months. Hey, 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 hey. Hello? Oh, wait, don't, don't y'all leave me. Don't leave me with him. Yo, what's up, Sean? How you doing? Better, better. All good, man. All good. And uh, nice to meet you. Mad people thing. What's up? Hey, who's mad? No, oh, mad people thing. Uh, when we there, yeah, you know, when we are touch street, and everybody are roll out, you know what I mean? You have to deal with the gang gang, and everybody have to throw your clothes them nice and neat. So naturally, when we come and find James, Big James, Carbin, that we there, you know, change the room and get good. 
Uh, fresh. Nice, nice to meet you. Big up, bro. Adios. Thank you, baby. Love. What the fuck did he say? Oh, yo, did I tell you what happened with Nina last weekend? Oh, no. Nah, well, you sure you don't want to finish your food first? No, I'll tell you, look. So we were supposed to go to Coachella, right? But now I was going to the gym. But I said, no, we're not going to go to the hotel without me. She said, I'm just going to call my girlfriend. Because who goes to girls? You ain't going to go with me? I said, you about to be fucking losing your mind. I'm going to go with my boys. I'm going to find all y'all. I'm going to find every last one of y'all. Is that Chinese food? So we finally get home. And I said, we still want to smash. We smash anyway, y'all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that the Saturday? And I'm single now. I'm on Tinder. Thank you. All right, take care, brother. All right, y'all, here's the motivation for you, okay? Look, we got $20 right here. What's the value of this? The value of this $20 is $20, right? You got that, okay? Now take this, if I fold it in half, boom, what's this worth? Hmm? What's it worth? Wait for it, it's still worth $20. Well, what if I fold it again, huh? What if I fold it again? What's it worth now? Still $20. Now what if I do this? What if I crumple it up, put it on the floor, and <clears throat> get your ass, and <clears throat> get your ass, and <clears throat> get your ass, and <clears throat> what is it worth? It's still worth $20, right? Now if I flush it down the toilet, Okay, I got another $20 bill. What's it worth? Hmm? This is just to say, it don't matter what you've been through. You could have been stomped on. You could have been tried. You could have been tested. But if you come out of that, you still got your worth, and you'll never lose your worth. Unless you flush down the toilet. Then it's on you. your car it's parked i know and the police is on the way to get her statement right now what kind of car they got it's nice you know what to do Here. I hit a parked car. No, no, there's a man in the vehicle. He wasn't there. Oh. There is a man in the car. Oh, hell no. My neck. My back. And he's injured. Let me see if I can walk. Ah! My leg, my neck, and my back. You almost killed this man. This nigga lying. I cannot believe it's Coachella already. It's like stressful for no reason. Can we not overpack this time? No, we can't. Okay, how many outfits do we have? We have 10 looks each. How many days will be there again? Like three. Perfect, okay, let's go down the list. Sunblock, sunglasses, phone chargers, and Mophies. Check, 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 check. Oh, it's gonna be cold at night, so we need jackets. <sighs> check. Flower crowns, designer backpacks, bronzer, glitter, glow sticks. Check, 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 check. Yes. Wait, what's that thing that makes you look like you're in space? Snow boots? Yes. Okay. Fedora hat, bandanas, combat boots, rose water spray, and Christmas lights. Check. Perfect. What are y'all doing? We're just packing for Coachella. Man, y'all doing the most for Coachella. Wait, that's my green bag. Oh, oh, baby, I told you I was wearing this to Neon Carnival. Why are you always letting everybody wear my stuff? Oh, no, 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 my look. Oh, my whole look. Now I have to start over from the beginning. I have to I need rose water. I need rose water. Yo, Dad, what's up? Hey, what's up, Sean? What? Your principal called today. And? Why was you walking around school with your butt crack hanging on all day? Dad, I was walking around school with my butt crack hanging out. I just didn't have no drawers on. Okay, why would you go to school with no drawers on? Dad, you the one who laid out my clothes. You ain't laid out no drawers. The only thing you laid out was a wife beater socks and my school uniform. So common sense ain't tell you to go in your uniform clothes or go in your drawer and get some drawers? Common sense ain't tell you to lay me out no drawers? Common sense ain't tell you not to go to school free balling? Common sense ain't tell you that my girl might have liked it? Common sense they tell you that little girl don't know nothing about no little kid ass balls. Common sense they tell you that my mom said the same thing about you. Your mom don't know nothing about me. Apparently she do because every time she mentioned your name on the phone to her girlfriends, they start laughing. They start laughing at her, not me. 
How about I'm laughing at you right now and don't go to school with no drawers on again? Dad, you a grown man don't have no drawers on every day. Exactly, I'm a grown man. Grown man ain't supposed to wear drawers. Yeah, grown man ain't supposed to have dookie stains in their jeans. Shut the hell up, Joe!